Today, I'm gonna to show you how to get some amazing NeoVim functionality with linters and formatters. By the end of this video, you'll be able to lint JavaScript files with ESLint, format your Ruby files with RuboCop and more. And the best part is you'll be set up to extend this functionality to whatever language you're working with easily. We'll also be talking about null LS for NeoVim, what it is and why it's so great, or what's so great? I'll explain, let's get into it. Welcome back to NeoVim for Noobs and everyone else really. In this free series, we've been creating a modern and modular NeoVim config that would rival any text editor or IDE. Before we get started with linting, let's go over our config real quick. So in the last few episodes, we've put together an incredible config for our NeoVim setup. If we open our config up in NeoVim, we can see that we have NeoTree, we have all kinds of goodies like Telescope for doing fuzzy finding and also for grepping through our project. And specifically in the last episode, we gave ourselves some amazing features in NeoVim through a built-in LSP configuration. We also went over what LSPs are and how they work. So if you're interested, check out the last episode. In fact, check out all the episodes because they're pretty cool. But in our LSP config, we can see that we have a three-headed setup right here with Mason, Mason LSP config, and NeoVim's NVim LSP config. The way these work together is that Mason installs all of our LSPs, Mason LSP config sort of bridges the gap between Mason and NVim LSP config and also gives us the great ensure installed property that we use right here to make sure that Lua LS and TS server are installed. And at the end of the day, we have some key maps that allow us to do certain things like hover over stuff for documentation and also doing code actions with space CA. And we can see that we can mark Vim as a defined global if we want that is a code action. So right now we have a really great configuration and I'm looking forward to extending it with some cool stuff. So now we have some very powerful LSP features in our config, but what about linting and formatting our code? Well, there are plenty of tools that handle linting and formatting, but they're kind of in an awkward spot. You see, linters and formatters like RuboCop, Black, or ESLint are all command line tools and aren't language servers in and of themselves. And back in the day, which was a Wednesday by the way, we had more plugins to help integrate these tools into NeoVim, specifically Ale, Asynchronous Linting Engine, and coc.nvim. But these plugins required their own settings and they were kind of hard to manage. So this is where Null LS came into play. Null LS is an amazing plugin that essentially wraps command line tools into a generalized LSP, enabling easy communication between these tools and NeoVim's built-in LSP client. So instead of installing different plugins to handle linting and formatting, we could just use null ls to wrap our tools in a generalized language server and everything else just looks like another language server to neovim sounds great right well there's just one problem null ls for various reasons has been deprecated by the creator i mean we could just use null ls anyways but it ties in very closely to neovim's internals leaving it very open to breaking from changes within neovim any merged pr by neovim core could break this plugin so it's best not to use it if possible but a great alternative has been created in a plugin called Nun ls None LS is a community managed fork of Null LS and it looks like it'll be well maintained for a long time. I love the idea of using None LS because as you'll see soon, the syntax is very minimal for Null LS and the API for formatting and linting are really clean because our tools get wrapped in an LSP. So things just feel a lot easier to manage. So let's get into it. I'll show you what it looks like. So we can see here, None LS is a community managed fork of Null LS. The thing about Null LS is that it was so popular and the configuration was so simple that when the author deprecated this package, everyone got together and recreated it, essentially forking it, and now they're managing it on their own. And we can see here that there's tons of commits. The latest commits were just a few days ago. So it seems like this is gonna be handled and maintained for a pretty long time. And that's why I feel safe using Nun LS as a plugin here. I think it's gonna be really great and I'll show you what the syntax looks like. It's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and install Nun LS. Now, a funny thing here to look at is that Nun ls doesn't rewrite any of the variables from null ls, so essentially you're gonna be calling null ls instead of none ls, which is something to keep in mind. It You get used to it pretty quick, but just keep that in mind. So let's install none ls. We can go to our NeoVim configuration and look at our Lua plugins directory, and we wanna add a new file. Let's just call it none ls.lua, pretty easy. 
And in this file, we want to return a new Lua table. And this table is going to start with the short GitHub URL of nonls, the plugin. Now we can see right here, there's some very basic setup functionality here. So let's go ahead and start off with that. So our, we want to set a local variable called nonls for our setup function. But I remember now I have to put that in my config block right here. And we can see all this LSP stuff is amazing. I'm loving it. And now we can call setup on our null LS variable here. And let's add the initial formatter for this setup. Now null LS has a ton of built-in formatting, diagnostics, and completion tools. And we're going to start with Lua because obviously that's what we're writing our configuration in. So let's set that one up first and I'll show you what it looks like. So we want to set our sources to a table. And initially we want to include null ls dot built ins dot formatting dot style Lua. I did not need a comma there. I don't know why I did that. Now, if we quit NeoVim and reopen it, we can see that Lazy is installing none ls. Of course, that's what we expect now. And null ls is complaining that it failed to load style Lua. So let's reload our config. Oh, I think I just misspelled it. It's style Lua. Yeah, it's style Lua. So let's close this, reopen Vim. And if we go to none ls, we can see we have our formatter probably running. I can't really tell, but so now what we have here is we have a formatting tool called style Lua that's going to be wrapped in a generalized LSP with null ls so that we can now call LSP functions to call the things that style Lua gives us almost like it's an LSP, sort of like a pseudo LSP. But there's one thing we're forgetting here. We do not have style Lua installed on our system. So we use Mason to install it. Mason has a ton of LSP, DAP, linters, and formatters. And Style Lua is a formatter. So we can navigate to Style Lua in Mason and type I to install it. And we can see up here that Style Lua is now installed. So let's quit Mason and let's continue setting up the rest of our stuff here. So now the final thing we want is just to set a key map, right? So we can do vim.keymap.set in normal mode. And we want to set leader gf to call the vim.lsp.buff.format function. And what is this going to do? Well, it's going to call format for the built-in LSP client for NeoVim. So anything that could respond to format that's attached to this buffer will then format this file. And now that we've installed style Lua through Mason and we've set up style Lua through null ls, it should work. Things should communicate together fairly easily. So let's quit our NeoVim config, reopen NeoVim, and let's go to our none ls configuration file. So if we type leader gf, we should see something happen. Let's see, leader gf. And you can see that we now have double quotes around all of our stuff instead of single quotes, and it added a little comma to the bottom here. So we are currently formatting everything with style Lua. That's sick. That was so easy. Wasn't that amazing? Let's see how we can do more stuff with this. Okay, so now let's talk about Ruby on Rails. You see, in my day job, I am an API engineer and I work primarily in Ruby on Rails. Now, Ruby doesn't have an LSP server per se. And when it comes to linting and formatting Ruby files, the default standard is a gem called RuboCop. Now, it's very important to add RuboCop to our setup here because otherwise we don't really have any LSP configuration stuff for Ruby. So let's go ahead and add RuboCop as a linter and a formatter in none ls but first really quickly let's just look at my ruby project here this is a rails project so we have controllers and helpers and views and some javascript stuff and if we click on our about controller um well it looks like we don't have very good highlighting in our ruby code so that tells me that tree sitter isn't really doing anything with ruby here and i think i know the problem if we go back into our configuration and we look at our tree sitter configuration, we see that we have only Lua and JavaScript are, are ensure installed. So let's change that to something a little more interesting. Let's go to auto install equals true. This should automatically install whenever tree sitter encounters a language that doesn't have a parser for. So let's go back to our Ruby files and see if tree sitter automatically installs something for Ruby. Oh, and we can see down here, tree sitter installs, installs something for Ruby. And now our configuration is doing something awesome. Our Ruby code is being nicely highlighted 
by tree sitter. So that's really cool. I think we should change that in our configuration. We want to have auto install for tree sitter so that it'll install parsers whenever it encounters a language where it doesn't have a parser installed. Nice thing to keep in mind. Okay, so now let's go back to our NeoVim configuration. We want to go into null ls here and we want to add a couple new things to our sources. We want to add a diagnostics entry for diagnostics. There we go. For RuboCop and also a formatting entry for RuboCop as well. Now what this does is this will give us the linting that we need for RuboCop and also the formatting ability using this key map down here for leader GF. So now the next step is in Mason, we want to install RuboCop. So let's look at linters and we can look for RuboCop and we see it right here. So let's install RuboCop and it's installing it through a gem, yada, yada, yada. And hey, RuboCop's installed. All right, cool. So now let's quit NeoVim. Let's CD back to my Ruby on Rails project and let's just see if we're getting any kind of linting stuff happening here. I can't tell right off the bat. So let me just do something like, I don't know. Okay, here we go. So now this is what's interesting. We are using RuboCop to lint this file and then none LS what it's doing is it's wrapping this command line, the standard in and standard out interface in a generalized LSP so that our LSP client is actually talking to RuboCop through this generalized LSP. So this looks like an LSP, but really all it is is a diagnostics tool for linting our file. Really interesting. So now let's see if we can format it using leader GF. And there we go. It worked. So now we have RuboCop for formatting and linting our Ruby files. And that's so simple. These are all built into none LS easy. Okay. So now let's add a, just a couple more things here for our, um, none LS setup. We want to add ES lint and prettier. Typically in JavaScript projects, you use prettier for formatting and ES lint for the diagnostics, which is linting. So now let's create a new entry for ES lint and then a new formatting entry for prettier. Of course, all we have to do here is open up Mason. We can go into linters, search for prettier. It's not there. It's probably in formatters search for prettier. There it is. So let's install prettier and then let's go over to our linters. Let's search for ES lint and we can install ES lint D. Cool. I believe I misspelled DS lint here. Yes, it's ES lint underscore D. So now we have all the linting and formatting for our JavaScript files, and it's all set up really well. And now, of course, if we want to handle formatting and linting in Python, if you're a Python bro, then this section's for you. I'm not a Python guy, so it's hard for me to have a confident answer here, but I do know that there are a couple programs that people typically use with Python, and that is black for formatting and I sort for sorting and linting your files. So in Mason, we can just open up the UI. We can search for black. And we can see that Python has black and it is a formatter. So let's install black. And while we're here, we can also install iSort, which is another formatter. Oh yeah, iSort is for formatting your imports. That's right. So let's install iSort. And then here we can, in our configuration, add a couple new formatting uh, entries, one for black and then one for iSort. And then that's really all you have to do. Now you have iSort and black formatting your Python files, and the configuration is that easy. Pretty sweet, right? So what have we really learned in this episode? Well, we learned about how null ls is an amazing package for combining all these disparate tools together, wrapping them into generalized LSPs and allowing the NeoVim built-in LSP client to talk to them. We then made sure TreeSitter was set up to install new parsers whenever it encountered a language that it didn't have a parser for, and we added linting and formatting to all kinds of languages. We added it for Python, for Ruby, and for JavaScript, and for Lua. So now we can format our files according to whatever our company wants or our team wants, and it's amazing. I love it. Our configuration is getting pretty amazing here, but we have just one more thing we got to do here, and that is auto completion and snippets. Guess what? That's coming up next episode. So stick around, subscribe, and hey, Merry Christmas, nerds.